God. You're not supposed to you judge. You're reject not supposed to judge. God. Not judge. And you're an abomination you're to God. To and you're God has warned you. You're you're so when you go rush straight into the lake of fire, you have no excuse. You have no pleading with God in the day of judgment. In the day of judgment, there's no pleading with God. God is pleading with you today. He says, repent of your sin and call upon him. Jesus said, I am the way, truth, and life. No man come unto the Father but by him. So you're not going to stand in the day of judgment and plead your case. You have no case. You already stand away. You deserve it better than we do. It's just like the sodomite. He's not born a sodomite. That's your choice. It is your choice. I bet you're a child And they say the child molesters of the priests, that's right, they're wicked and they'll go to hell for it, but that's no excuse for you. That's no excuse for you. And that's why I'm not for religion. You're going to whine like a little baby in that day. You're going to wish you were never born. But you're going to stand accountable for that wickedness, that perversion, that wicked abomination directly against God. God said you're made in the image of God. You're made in His image. And when you take and you destroy the image of God, then you spit in God's face. It's the same as those when Christ was on the cross. They spit in his face. They waved their head. They cursed him. They said, if you saved others, save yourself. Well, Christ hung on that cross with a purpose. He hung on that cross to pay the wage of your sin. He hung on that cross so you could be set free from your sin. But you say that you receive Christ and you live in your sin. That's wicked, folks. That's wicked. That's an abomination unto God. That's as bad as if you were the one that took the penis, the vagina. And that's all that's in your mind. You need to seek after the righteousness of Jesus Christ. You need to allow the Word of God to cleanse your mind. That you might be able to see Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, when He rose from the dead, He doesn't wink at your sin anymore. He's taking account. And if you're bitter, tortured, dead, or some priest that raped you, or whatever happened in your life, you better forgive them. Because how can you, how can you, how can you think that God is going to be able to forgive you if you can't forgive others? See, some of you are using religion as an excuse to stay in your sodomy. Some of you are using other people as an excuse, but you are no excuse before God. You're going to stand there accountable before God that will reject you. Hey, officer. Tell us all men to the waste. Then let the fire awaste those that will reject Jesus Christ. If you have not retained the knowledge of God, then you have rejected God's gift of salvation. And when God knocks on your door, and he says, hey, hey, I have come, I have come to judge the world of his sin, you already know that judgment. God said, even though you know the judgment, you know the penalty of your sin, you still take pleasure in those that commit such things. You need to repent. God said the way to the sin is death. And if you can keep yourself from the grave, then maybe you can keep yourself from the second death. But you can't keep yourself from the grave. You can't keep yourself from the second death. You're headed for death. You're headed for destruction. You need to repent. That's right. You better remember that, that song. But he doesn't love you in your sin. And you know it. He doesn't love your perversion. You, you know there's a God. You know there's a God. You know that He's righteous. You know that He's coming as a judge against unrighteousness. You know the judgment of your sin. We don't have to tell you the judgment of your sin. We don't have to tell you that you're in sin. You know what your sin is. You know what the judgment of your sin is. And you don't take heed to God. And God says you take pleasure in those that commit such things. You willfully head right for the lake of fire. You willfully say no to God and yes to sin. And that's why you're going to burn. That's why you're going to burn forever. And it's a you know, you're young conspiracy. You can be a satellite in America and still walk up and down the street. But the law looks the other way. The law looks the other way. 
That's what the law does. That's what the law of God does is to look the other way. You need to repent, call upon Jesus Christ. You lousy bastard. He has lied to you, and you're a child of the devil, and that's why you receive these lies. You need to repent and be adopted into the family. And that's why you're wicked. And that's why you're vile. And that's why God created the lake of fire for you, that you might be consumed in that fire. But remember, it's where the worm dieth not. You think you're going to die and escape God? You'll not die and escape God. Some of you think you can commit, uh, you can commit uh, uh, murder. You think you can commit sodomy? You think you can commit drunkenness? You think you can commit fornication? And lying? And stealing? And you get away with it? God holds you accountable. You think that maybe if you killed yourself, you'd get away from God's judgment. You're not going to get away from God's judgment if you commit suicide. You stand before God, straight before God, and you will give an account before God. That's the righteous judge. And God has laid it out. If you'd read the Word of God, then you know the judgment of God. You reject the Word of God. You reject the Word of God, there remaineth no more, no more wisdom, no more instruction, no more instruction, no more instruction, no more instruction at all. That's what God does. He gives you instruction in the Word of God. That's what He gives unto you. The instruction of the Word. And when you reject the instruction of the Word of God, there is no more instruction. You better read that Bible. That Bible is basic instruction before leaving earth. That's what it is. That's right. Hey, when you reject that instruction of God, then all you can do is go to the perverted mind and the perverted world of flesh, and you're going to end up in the lake of fire because you have rejected what God stated would be in His judgment. The judgment against sin, the judgment against all wicked rejection of God, the judgment against the fallen God gave you a vessel, was made in the image of God, and what do you do? You destroy it, you abuse it in the midst of yourself. And that's the last of the flesh. And it comes from rejecting, rejecting Jesus Christ. Oh, how long? How long will God hold back His wrath? How long? You think that God, that God is going to hold His wrath back? God's not going to hold His wrath back. When God pours His wrath out, it's going to be a complete destruction of this world. It's going to be a complete destruction of sin. God is going to put sin under the feet of Jesus Christ. 